It's impossible to see a wealthy man who has never failed. But I can show you a lot of poor people who never failed before. They never tried anything big. They are so scared. People will say no. You know, I don't know how to talk to people, but you gossip all the time. And I don't want to sell product, but you sell other people's product on your hair. You sell your nails. Oh God, your hair is nice. It is spa at Jose Two. That's it. I like your shoes. Well, you Chanel. That's it. How much they pay you back? This is just being an intelligent fool. But you don't want to sell. How is it that people are self-destruct? When they ask you to not do it for you, and it become all crazy. Such people, they should pay you for you to talk to them. Okay? Alright. So let's read together. One to go. Let's read this together. One to go. Don't ever admit that the law has not given you an opportunity. Opportunities are never just handed. They must be created. How many of us are going to walk out of here and go out to learn to make it work? Raise your hand. Don't go and make it work. What should you do? Go and learn how to make it work. Let me tell you. If you learn anything, you will such that anything. It doesn't matter what. Okay? So, beyond the idea called what? Swiss gold. In other words, Swiss gold is a business, a classic business, but beyond that business, there's a platform now called multi level marketing. You want to understand the structure of multi level marketing, then use it to maximize Swiss gold. What if you don't know the structure of multi level marketing? You can never maximize it. Multi level marketing has never been about what you can do. It has always been about what we can do. Say it again. It's never about what you can do, superstar. No, it's about what we can do. That's what it's about. Does it make sense? Okay. BMW, the German corporations that produces sport cars for young professionals. This is a German car. Okay? They are selling well to German machine. In the same Germany, that's Mercedes. But this is for awkwardly elderly people. The same economy, different products, everybody wins. So there are people that this product will appeal to, find them. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. So right here, the way you sell a Mercedes is not the same way you sell a BMW. This is flashy, awkwardly young professionals, but for G-Wagon, so it's, not, it's not for old people, it's for elderly people. Say it again. <laughs> elderly people are those who have money with swag. Say it again. <laughs> old people are those who have age with something. <laughs> old has to do with age. Elderliness has to do with result and wisdom. You might be an old man, but you're not an elderly man. Yeah. Oh, come on. You know what I'm Village, you see an old man who is broke and is coming to advise you how to make money. You are the elderly person, you are the one that should be talking to the old man. Does it make sense? So don't confuse old with elderliness. Old has to do with age, elderliness has to do with result and wisdom. Does it make sense? So this is for those who have made some money, they're not looking for anybody to like them now because the car is ugly. So. But when they show up, you know, it's a Jeep, right? Okay. Now, this flag, Germany, pride itself with superior machines. The pride of Germans is the superiority of the machines. Okay? So because you need to find what makes you Swiss gold. You need to find what is it that makes you Now, whenever people see, they say you're Swiss gold. They need to know that there's something about you guys. Does it make sense? Yeah. When you come in your midst, you can recruit by environment as well. When they see you hanging out, they say, I don't care what you guys do, but I want to call on you guys. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now, here again, Japan is prided by producing consumer goods. Germany is machines. They have their pride in the superiority of their machines. 
Japans are concerned more about consumer goods. They're thinking about the middle class. Okay? Now right here again, this is MIT. The focus on math matters. This is Cornell University. The focus on researchers. So I want to ask you a question. The day you find the identity of Swiss gold in Nigeria, you're done. What to say, how to say it, it's not going to be a problem. But when you have a multiple disoriented identity about who you are in this business, you look like a masquerade. Does that make sense? This business is much more about identity of self. When people see you, do they feel successful? When they hang around you, do they see a possibility of being successful? When they see you, do they feel a strength of leadership? If they can't feel these traits, they will, if they join you, they look for them, whatever in the business. Sometimes, people will join to get rid of you in their business, in their space. They'll just pay, just say, no problem. If I register, you stop coming to me, they say yes. They pay the money. Or call them next and say, what's your problem? Register, what's that? So I want to ask you a question, write this down. What is it about you that when people come around, they don't want to let it go? It must be unique to you. It can't be duplicated. Does it make sense? And when people join your team, make sure they find their own identity so that they can allow you to go somewhere else and they're they still building. If you let your identity take everybody's identity, they will need you to talk all the time. So when they join you, find out what makes you unique. Help them find themselves and let them both go and be themselves. They will build it organically according to who they are. But when yourself superimposes other people, they will not begin to live like you, they will never be the first class of themselves. Okay? Okay. So right here again, finally before I close, uh, I want to show you something quickly. Uh, I don't have advantage there today. Okay, now this word here, what is the word there? Advantage. advantage. Now I want you to pay attention. Advantage is a combination of two words. Advance plus edge. Advantage means you got there first physically. Doesn't mean you know what to do when you get there. So you registered before me. Oh, that is <laughs> <laughs> Now you know what I'm talking about now, right? Yeah, yeah. Advanced means a physical movement in location. Advanced. Advanced team. Have you seen advanced team before? When the president is coming, they send the advanced team. Are they the president? They go there to prepare for the president. <laughs> so that you may have registered before someone doesn't give you the privilege. Privilege is two words. Privy, what you know before everybody else gives you the edge. So, does it make sense? Yeah. What's privilege? Privy plus edge. So, privilege means you have the preview of the right answers. Does it make sense? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now, watch this. You rush to the door before me. You come over here. Come. Do you speak English? You don't speak English. Oh, okay. Is it English? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know what key is? Key. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Alright? Now, we're about to do business. Okay? That Swiss gold right there, that's the door. That door is locked. And we, he heard about Swiss gold before me, and he rushed to the door. So I want you to go to the door. The door. They go to the door. Yes, yes. Now, but he doesn't have the key. He can't open it. He had to wait for me because I got the key. So he had the advantage. I have the privilege. Yeah. So he's been there two months struggling, two months struggling, six months, and I don't show up. Hey. The word door means to close. The word key means to open. So, urgency is the door, patience is the key. They're in a hurry to make money, but you don't have the privilege. You don't have the answers, you have no knowledge, so you're struggling for too much. This business doesn't work, shut up, you don't know what you're doing. And then someone shows up, one week, two weeks. While you are busy, right around for three months, this guy has been busy learning how to make it work. He shows up in one week, he makes money, and he makes it. 
Does that make sense? Thank you, sir. Come on back. Does that make sense? Thank you. So what's the advantage? Is any circumstances that is favorable to your success. So you can combine both advantage and what? Privilege. You got there first and you knew what to do first. That's powerful. Okay? So how do you become the best? You want to know how? Okay, how do you become and create a leading advantage? Write it down. Creating your leading advantage in your business. How do I now, Swiss Gold is just is still in the preliminary stage. It has not broken the real deal. In this room, it's going to be the break of dawn of this company. Now, there are people out there waiting for you to show them the way. They are now somewhere in the aircraft. They are trapped. They don't know the leader and their, their, their own savior is already preparing yourself. And whenever you walk into anybody's life, don't recruit them. Show them the way. Recruitment mentality is a hustle mentality. Be the light. Make a conversation. Let the conversation lead to the opportunity. And let the opportunity open the good door. Don't say, come and join me. No. So how do you create a leading advantage, or better still, I'll call it unfair advantage? Now let me tell you, first of all, we're here together. We live here on your own. Say it again. When you get out of here, you're on your path. Does that make sense? So what you want to do is in your mind, visualize the highest team, the highest leaders working with you. Can you see that? Can you close your eyes, everybody? See your leaders. Don't have downlines, have associates. Don't downline them, don't bring them down. Have people who hang out with you, who go with you. I would rather go with people who want to go with me than drag people up. Are you there? Okay, now let's see what you do. This is what you do, number one, write this down. Become the dominant leader of a new business. Now, see, see Swiss Gold as the first time in Nigeria is today. Can I say it again? See Swiss Gold, and even those who knew about it, didn't know it completely right, you're about to correct them now. So you're gonna become, take a category. You can say, I'm gonna recruit people on top level of government. You make it a category. Let nobody compete with you at that level. Serve more people in a category. If you want to recruit people who live in Gabula, that you still can work. But let nobody compete with you in that place. Go there and make sure anyone in that category, you're the best that serve them better. If you want to recruit middle, middle, middle class, don't recruit middle class because you lose the intensity of focus. If your goal is middle class, let me tell you what I know about this business. Life attracts life. Say it again. Yeah. If you focus on middle class, be the best middle class recruiter, sponsor. If you focus on people of certain level of government or certain level of power, focus on the category. Don't recruit cockroach, lizard, snake. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be the champion in the category. So if you say, no, who are the people that your knowledge will be better for? Find those people. Design the program for them. Follow them. There are enough of you to make you rich. Don't see because, uh, uh, what's your name? Innocent recruited governor, or whoever it is. You know, some pursuit governors. You may not have what it takes to talk to a governor. When you go there, you piss them off. And maybe you just open your mouth, all the people that are selling granola, they want to listen to you, recruit all the granola people. Be the expert in it. Nobody can compete with you. They will go in legions and they bring their life and follow you. It happens to be your natural environment where there's always enough people for any category you choose. Don't be there, here, there. Don't do that. Does that make sense? Okay. There are people who love gold business. So what you need to do today, say I'm going to choose a class of people and be the best. Nobody can compete with me. Just write it down. In this category, serve more people than anyone in this business on that category. It makes you more focused and more directed. Nobody can beat you on that. Is that clear? Second thing you need to do, 
create a plan to become world class. You know what you're going to do? Why don't you study people in other industries, in other businesses that have done successfully well, and use them as a parameter to measure yourself? Be sweet golden in your expertise, but be broad in your mindset. Say it again. Your expertise. Know the details of sweet gold. When someone mess with you, you mess with the person. But in the broad multi-level marketing industry, be knowledgeable about the industry. Be broad about it. But then, let your expertise in the next six months. I want you to say this to yourself. Nobody will know this business more than in the next six months. Nobody. You will study. You learn about gold. You learn about money. And there was something she said. The other time she was talking, she said about 200 cent trillion money. Say one percent is in paper. The other 99 percent is in digital, and some percent in gold. And I said to myself, if I was part of you guys, man, nobody in this continent, Africa, would know this business in and out more than me. When I cough, they would get answers. But to run out there every day, recruiting people with average knowledge, you walk too hard. But tell yourself, I'm going to bury myself to understand this. But when I raise my hand, everybody will look for me. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. So what you need to do, create a world-class plan. Okay? Now, Bobby, let's read it together. I want to go. First to get it right means first to try is death. Urgency is the door. Or patience is the key. Well, it's not the person that started first. It's the person that started it right first. So you can start it before me, but you started with the wrong mentality, with the wrong knowledge. But I started it the first time, and I started it the right way. So you've not failed yet. You just did not get it right. Does it make sense? Okay, absolutely. So, look at this. Don't be a massive person. Don't be a majority person. Don't talk in generality. Be the expert. You know, Lionel Messi, the last champion they had, he won all the gold medals. Now, in this in this success game, winner takes all. Take it again. In the success game, winner takes all. Now, what does it mean, winner takes all? You want to build your team to be a world-class team. Say it again. You want to introduce a standard of operation a standard of ethic in your team. People joining you are joining a world-class wealth team. So does it make sense? They are not joining a network marketing business. They are joining a group of people who are wealthy people using network marketing to do business. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Now write this down. Network marketing business is a personal development business disguised as multi-level marketing. Network marketing is a personal development business. What is it? Personal development business disguised as what? Multi-level model. So which one do you prefer? You prefer now the messy or want to be in ocean? Which one? You want to be someone that builds more people. Okay? So I want to ask yourself, ask yourself, who am I? Ask yourself that question. Am I a wealthy man that's trying to build a business? Am I a poor man trying to make money? Which one? Am I a wealthy man trying to build the business? Or am I a poor person that is broke trying to make money? These two questions determine how far you go. So you want to be a wealthy man first, is that correct? You want to study, you want to learn, and then you want to go out and attract your life, and together you can build a good business. Okay? Does it make sense? Okay. So I'm going to ask you another question. I'm going to write it bold. What advantages are you creating for yourself? What other things, values, that you can bring to the table that nobody else has in Swiss gold? Everybody has access to the gold. True or false? What else can people say, yes, I've heard this before, but I've not heard it like this? When people join your team, are they going to become better when they're making money? Does it make sense? When they hear your name, oh, they remember you. Character, trust, integrity. Okay? Now, another question. How do you intend to grow that advantage into a leading one? Once you found out 
what makes you unique, whatever it is that you're going to do is your advantage. Maybe you know how to talk to middle class, that's your advantage. What else can you do to make sure that every middle class in this country joins your team? And when they join your team, what do they look for? They want to learn how to invest, they want to learn how to save money. What else can you bring to the table that nobody else has in the Swiss good business? Okay? And finally, folks, you want to be here? This is the way you want to be. There's so much space at the top if only you're willing to learn how to get there. It is crowded at the bottom. Now, I want you to see this picture. I want you to see yourself flying. When I think about the eagle. The eagle is the only bird that flies so high that it doesn't need to use the wings to fly anymore. Every other bird used to do a lot of effort. But when you get higher, it becomes easier. Say it again. When people know you as a successful person in this business, you have already repeated them already because your pedigree will make a way for you. Does it make sense? So first thing you want to build is a reputation of someone that helps people. Does it make sense? And when you get there, you will soar like eagle. Okay? Are you blessed today? Yeah.